together me and Nick have a new thing where I play a Holdsworth chord and he goes Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just, I feel like that's what people want when yep. they do this thing anyway so I just kind of had a shortcut <laughs> I'll show it to you again <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> thank you it's gonna be a lot of Nick screaming today I guess yeah <laughs> So we're talking about voicings. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. How's it been? Good. Pretty done good. The book? Out of... Yeah, it's done, man. It's done. It's up there. Um, you know, you're just yeah. going to start writing another book. Uh, well, not yet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> going to wait till at least like the summer or something. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, but I have plans for another one, yeah. But it's not going to be like a massive thing like that. So, yeah, you know, yeah, that's just that seems like too, entirely too much. Yeah, it was too much, man. And then you'll see, like, you know, part of the problem, like you'll see today with like trying to name some of these voicings, and like, you know, you end up with voicings that have like Alan's playing a triad over a bass note, but then the bass player plays a different bass note, you know. So it's like I have uh, that problem in my band too. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> playing the wrong bass note. <laughs> All the time. All the time. It's the that's the best kind, really. Yeah. yeah. It's modern. It's modern bass playing. It's exactly. Not, I, I I uh I'll, a lot of times, you know, I think about like how how limited my harmonic knowledge is. And then I look at I look to my bassist and I'm like holy shit <laughs> just this man. and then he's playing all the roots behind me and then i'm yeah. like feeling like shit after the gig like my notes sounded so weird i don't know what happened tonight <laughs> must be your fault yeah, must have had an off night yeah must be the bass player's fault um anyways how do we start what's a good what's a good starting off yeah, man. Voice um Oh my God, my boy. All right. So I think like I'm going to start simple because that's the best way to start. Um, you know, so like your typical, if we look at like your typical inversions, right? Like that everybody knows drop two and drop three. Alan doesn't play those as much as uh, this one. Right. And this one. Okay, so that the second one you're playing is just like uh yep. first inversion drop two. Yep. And that other one. Yep, drop three inversion. Yeah. Yep. The fifth in the bass. But a lot of times he'll use this one like as A minor nine. Mm -hmm. You know, with A in the bass. Yeah. So that's and then the other thing is do what? Yeah, that, that still feels manageable. Yeah, that's all manageable. Yeah, yeah. That's normal human stuff. Okay. <laughs> then like with uh, like this one, instead of playing that, like he'll play this. Just add the nine instead of the fifth. Yeah. Well, it's the uh, six, right? Oh, the, exactly, yeah. The six and seven, fifth, yeah. It, and then, like, this D minor, instead of, like, this D minor, he'll play, uh, yeah, this. Cool. Right. Yeah. That's one of my favorite. Uh, I saw it in one of your etudes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I put it everywhere I can put it. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. All right, man. So that's like the basic stuff kind of. All right. Out so today. just to recap, we got one, two, and we said for C major, this and right. 
right. Yeah. It would be nice so if the, the end of it. Do what? Like, yeah, I got it. Yeah, so those are the basic those are the basic ones, you know, and then like uh a lot of other stuff he does is like typical piano voicings, right? Like uh this voicing a lot. For like minor major seven. Like D minor major seven. Oh, but you're thinking D minor so it's like you're thinking but right. it's like an like right. like an F augmented major seven. Right. Yeah, major seven sharp five, but, but no, D in the bass. This would be the typical like melodic minor kind of choice for it. Uh well there's some other ones we're gonna get into that are crazy, but like so that's pretty common. And then like this one that you know rootless uh like usually I'm usually thinking of that as like G7, like a 13, you know? Nice. And so nice. he'll play that one. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Application. Oh. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Yeah, oh, watch yeah. out. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Watch out, man. He got claws. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, then we start getting into like some shit. Uh, so this is just a major chord, like D major nine. In uh, this is in home. No. Yeah. So it's like D. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. very position engaged. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Has to be done. So we have one, <laughs> two, seven, and five. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that feels real good. Oh uh, yeah, shit, I'm playing it wrong now. Let's see. <laughs> So you would think, so that's a D major. Yeah, D major this type. Is, this is the root. Right. Well, and obviously you can use it. <laughs> Do what? It's pretty intuitive. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I, I can get behind these. Nice. Yeah. That feels so bad. It's like a... Feels like doing a split when you do it yeah. in time. You know, yeah. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh. My twat hurts. <sighs> okay. But like, uh, obviously, to him, it's just part of notes in that scale, and you could use it for other stuff too. Would there, you know? Would there be like voice leading? Like, would he come to that from like a voice? Like, how it, does this? Yeah. Does this this appears like what's the thing before that so that's the initial i think that's the first chord in home like once the bass comes in and everything there's like an intro part uh and then when the bass comes in it's that and then it goes to a completely if i remember right i don't have it in front of me but i'm pretty sure it's an unrelated voicing okay but obviously you can change things around and voice lead into other things and you know uh, just just as a general question in this style of chord playing do voices tend to be voice led is there a lot of like seconds in the movement of each voice or do you think uh, i mean he does things like well you'll see when we get into like uh playing some some of the lead sheet stuff i guess mm -hmm. uh but really i mean he's doing so like on texas you know he goes uh like that kind of thing and then he moves that up a, or a whole step down a whole step to like d major so it's like it's not there is voice leading and stuff and then later like, oh, there's, like 
stepwise motion throughout at least. Right. It's not. And then, but he'll do like the common tone thing again too. So like, uh, there was a voicing I have on here that I just thought was interesting, uh, from above and below, which is, uh, he goes, Ooh. all right. So it's like, uh, a flat, major seven sharp 11 or you know that's what i feel like he's kind of how are you doing yeah it's uh so it's basically this voicing i play this voicing as like a dominant chord yeah a lot you know yeah. but uh, i think he's just thinking a flat major but what, then he what goes the notes here one by one like so a flat C an open D string and B flat. And then it goes a half step down? Half step down and it keeps the open D. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah. That's some fancy shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> God. You need one of those in every fusion show. Do you know how different it would feel? Oh, man. As opposed to people just like looking at your pedals. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you play I, I don't want to encourage the ADHD nature of, uh, of me. So, what's yeah. the next thing on the, on, the, on the list? Yeah, that one was down further on the list, but like, I don't know. We already talked about it, so... Wait, wait a second. So, so, okay, so talking about this one for a second. So it's the common tone thing, that D being but, the but common tone. The harmony in the bass would be A flat G. So this yeah. is like A flat 7 yeah. going to like a G major. Yep. Yep. So it's like a half step. So like a... Yeah. So if I'm playing a... It had to be you. <laughs> You're gonna hear that shit tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can use this shit. This isn't like the other stuff. I understand some of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's nice, man. There's a lot of really beautiful voicings, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I just have a two that's like that too, like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, uh, it's an interesting thing because I heard like when, when I was transcribing that song and I was trying to like name the voicings and everything, I kept hearing that chord as this dominant chord. <laughs> Like in my, 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 well, it is, it technically is, but like, that's not the bass note. The bass player plays the A flat. So I think they're thinking A flat major, but my brain was putting the B flat, like the B flat, uh, root in there just because I do it all the time. Oh, see I what I'm that. saying? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay yeah yeah okay but i think that's not how they're thinking about it so so wait but, a second uh, okay so if i use it that way well it's really low to be voice really low to be a dominant chord with that in the bass yeah you know and, uh, so but the idea is that like it could work in a cadence to like to e flat right yeah right yeah okay cool yeah all right, so uh, so another one that was like in home is major C major, with B flat in the bass. With B in the bass. Yeah, B in the bass. Yep. Okay, four notes. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's um, actually not that bad. Uh, I'm sorry. I was actually playing a wrong. It should be C right here. That's worse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My bad. That's really pretty. 
and it's voiced like this, not like. Right. Would that yeah. Be easier? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I think I've actually seen him play that both ways. Yeah. So, uh, but. Well, I mean, I guess this would make sense if you're moving. There was a video. I think there was a video on home that I watched or something where I got that. Saw him play it that way. This um, is way easier for. I, I don't know why I'm kind of stretched out. Uh, I have, and I have long fingers, so it's, it's this is not so bad for. Yeah, me. man. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna get there though. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. I want to see if there's something I just can't do. Yeah, like this next one is a bitch. Well, but, let's fucking bring it on, uh, man. Yeah, man. So it's like uh, D minor, but it's like. Uh, but he puts the D. How? Yeah, so you have to bar with this finger. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's it. No, I can do that. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> that's like probably it. probably the hardest one yet <laughs> oh yeah i feel the burn baby yeah man that's tendonitis in yeah. a box right there yeah i would never think about that for a d minor and i feel the like the tension creeping in okay so it's like d c f e c so he's doubling notes doesn't care about yeah. that yeah Wow. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, unlike like uh, you know, unlike most jazz players or whatever, he does double notes. Okay. He doesn't what? give a that, damn. That's from home. Uh, that's from home. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna do and then this next one is like it's not difficult, but it's just kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of like uh, E flat or E. Uh, you think of like E seven flat nine. Yeah. With uh, E on the high E string. So you're doubling that A flat. Yes. And then you put A flat in the bass. Oh. So it's a version of like, yeah, E7 flat 9. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. So anyway, I just thought that one is cool. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, so he gets some interesting, like, open strings like that, you know, thing. That's awesome. Doing. I mean, the, the cool thing about roots like that is you put the bottom, like, you know, the, that root is an open string. Right? So yeah. 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 And then, uh, so this next one's like, uh, let's see if I can remember. That's like. So he taps that. Yeah. I don't. Can you break down the. So it's like seven. 11, 9, 7, 11, and then tap 14. Oh, 7. Yeah. I usually have my boyfriend tap for me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay so that's 
like that that would be like a melodic minor kind of thing like yeah that's a b uh what did i call it like yeah b minor major 13 yeah okay up till here it's normal shit and then that's the fifth on top okay yeah it's just really nice sounding voicing that's actually how he does it right there, what you just did yeah, with his thumb like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. great minds. Yes. I feel like we're... <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I remember right, that's how he did it. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, so that's the home voicings that I grabbed. How would you ever, like, think about this shit in time? Like, it has to be a part of an arrangement, right? Oh, they're all parts of arrangements. I mean, that's one of the things, man, with Alan that I've noticed is, like, uh, a lot of the voicings and stuff he plays are parts of arrangements, you like, know? when so. he's comping behind, like, a Pasqua solo. That's like a what? Was, like, the Alan Pasqua... So, like, oh, yeah, well, so like right here, I've got uh, something from a live comping on low levels behind the keyboard solo mm -hmm. that we're about to get into. Although, I mean, I'm not, I just grabbed some random voicings from there that I thought were cool. Uh, but I'm guessing it has to be a little more modest and the kind of things that he goes to. Yeah, well, he plays a lot more rootless like rootless stuff like you would expect a jazz like dude moving things in the scale to do yeah but i mean it's uh it's you know it's, i don't want to say it's planned out but there is stuff that is there's like voicings it seems like he always goes to on certain chords and then he might switch stuff up other places you know I, so the, the one thing that when you were playing earlier that i kept seeing is like this guy like for a major seven sharp 11 that's pretty typical oh there's other ones yeah there's other ones we're gonna get into some other ones but okay that's about to, we go in the order you're doing but that is one of them that's uh he plays that one anyway this so this is a major seven sharp 11 voicing in uh low levels so it's it's g major <laughs> Yeah, so but also it's just like anything like it would work too for like an E. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. And a yeah, and a really okay, yeah. 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 So that's a good one. This one uh, is like this next one. It's like uh, A flat minor eleven, and it's uh, like oh, a pretty. We move on. I, I just gotta. I, I gotta put some things together. So we have. <laughs> Sorry. Just so if I, I will never remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so odd sounding. It's pretty. Makes me want, makes a man want to cry. It sounds uh, better with the bass on it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, cool. Uh, so the yeah, this minor one is like. Uh, uh, ah. Like 9, 12, 15, 16. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're thinking about that like an A Dor A flat Dorian? Yeah. Yeah. So Minor. You're playing like flat seven, nine, flat three, four. So it's a yeah, minor eleven. Yeah, so like uh the tetrachord. So he goes from that. It's a little melody he plays. Goes. He moves that up like that. Yes. 
sick. Uh. Okay. <laughs> ah, so bad. <laughs> Nick, save me, Nick. This is horrible. Okay, that's awesome though. It's really awesome. Okay. Man, that's so freaky. I'm just trying to see it in some context that I can recognize. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so yeah, this other one in low levels. Oh, I do that. I do that shit. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a go-to for me, too. Yeah, so... There's a great... Uh, like, uh, Did you ever see the movie Waking Life? I don't think so. It's like a bunch of like libs talking about lucid dreaming. But anyways, it's, uh, it's like... Uh, they have a tango song in the beginning. It goes like... Uh, yeah, it's it's cool. Anyway, yeah, that that's cool. So that's just like a Dorian thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. All right. Then the uh, so the next stuff I had was the uh, above and below thing we talked about. Let's talk about that again. One second, because I did I did not. Oh, there's also what was that one I got? Oh yeah. Oh dude. Oh yeah. This voice. <laughs> oh yeah. Stretch yeah. you right <laughs> open. Hey man. <laughs> I forgot about this voicing. You're going to have an echo um, inside you after that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to, I was looking at it, I was going, man, what voicing is that? Like, I don't even, oh, yeah, that's right. This is like one of my favorite ones because, oh. um, because it can only be found in mode three or Hungarian minor. Okay. It's got three half steps in a row in it. But it's like, uh, so Alan plays this, which you could see is like, you know, B flat diminished over F. So you've got like a B flat, uh, you got a B flat triad and a, or a B flat minor triad and a B flat diminished just with that, right? But I see it as like diminished over F or whatever. Then the bass player plays F sharp. I see. So if it's in. So it would you'd be able to move that in major thirds if it's in. Yeah, so you can move it major thirds. Yep. Uh, but you've got like uh you know. So how would you, I mean, I guess you get into that thing that's hard to, like, name, but... Yeah, that was the thing, What would you, in harmony, what would you use that for? Well, I mean, it's just a really cool sound of voicing in above and below. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, like... But what, what chord quality would you call that F-sharp? Right? Or would that you would you see it as a messy end mode three thing or as a Hungarian? Yeah, that's what I see. Well, what I named it in the book for a chord symbol is a chord symbol that doesn't really exist. So it's like it's uh, I think I called it B flat diminished over F over F sharp. So two two different bass notes. It's really the easiest way to see it, other than just as coming from this scale. It's a group of notes in this scale, you know. Would you say that chord types are sort of like gender? <laughs> uh, getting soft, yeah. sorry. <laughs> you get at how many how many genders and how many chord chord types there are. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Anyway, uh, that's a really cool cool voicing, you know. Okay, but like, okay, let's say Bark I want sounding. to use it. What do I do with this? Like, where would it come from and go to? So, I mean, what I would do probably was something like that. So, I have like a, 
this tune that I wrote where there's a solo section that is uh, based on mode three, right? So I would probably make it just like one of the voicings in that and do like moving it in major thirds like you're talking about. So, so it would be like, like, a, like F sharp vamp and then you can move shit like that around. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, the um, there's like eight bars of, well, let's see, I can pull up like, and I'll show you what he did with it. Uh, I think I get it. So here's what he did, right? If you want to hear, um, I mean, I'm just going to have the guitar profile play. Guitar the, good. If you play his shit, they will flag it. Play the uh, transcription. Looking for it. All right, so he goes from like uh, D6 over A to C major 7 to C major 6, then that chord. Then he goes from that chord to D major 9 over B. So that sounds like... Right? Yeah. So uh, I don't know if that Those are things. <laughs> Do what? Yeah, it's 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 out there, but that's cool. So that's it. He's going from uh, that chord. So he goes from this chord to was it seven, four, six, three? What, what, what the yeah. voice? And that's over B, that voice. What, what are you? What are the notes you're playing here? So I'm playing uh, seven, four, six, three. Oh, I see. And that's over a B, so it's like a Dorian kind of thing. Yeah. thinking about it from the perspective of like some sort of oh so it's kind of like an f sharp seven go resolving in a cadence to B yeah minor. yeah you could see it that way yeah um but i guess what 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 note here the, oh but it has the major seventh on the bottom to that Makes sense because it's kind of like a because that that B minor voicing starts with the eleven in the bottom in the bottom and it's just like a half step motion down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I wonder if like a lot of times when he's using stuff from like mode three to resolve the stuff that's really kind of like inside, it's just this like really smooth voice leading of like just half steps going down. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's like that half steps going down. I mean, everything is uh my god. Yeah. That's cool. Sorry about that. So if I go Ah <laughs> That's my two five one. Spiritual. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna play my church gig. Church of Saints. <laughs> Go to hell for that for sure, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Straight to hell, don't pass go. <laughs> um but yeah, so that's that one, and then it's like back to this one. I had that, Ooh. then that's the one we talked about yeah. earlier. Then he actually does play a 5-1 at the very end. He plays, uh, uh, let's see, make sure I got this. Four, two. So he goes, uh, wait, wait, hang on a minute. Playing it wrong. So that's two of the same note. 
Oh, that's the core. But he goes, uh, like that. So A, seven. Then he plays the full chord. So he just plays like the two notes, two inner notes. Oh, so that's his like five. Five, one. Five, one. Right. There we go. That's a really nice voicing right there. Yeah. That D major, so. All right, man, so like now this uh, next one, Letters of Mark thing, you know, in the bridge where he does like this thing based off B harmonic major. So he's thinking um, E, Lydian minor, right, which is one of the modes, but. That was it. Uh, hang on a Is minute. that the stuff from the REH video? Oh, yeah, it does play that. Or whatever. Something like Shit. that. Okay, show, show, what's the first voicing? So what is that chord? Are you just thinking about B harmonic major moving? Yeah, it's just the structures. So, like, this is what he's doing. He's using, like, those structures, you know? Yeah. Like, so, uh, I think B we talked about major. those in the, yeah, but harmonic major. Yeah. It's got an E, there's an E pedal going on underneath it, though. So, yeah. Okay, so be, so that oh, so it's like the the four minor yeah the four version of yeah. that B harmonic major. So it's like right a, yeah. So the, so it's like melodic minor sharp four, right? That's right yeah. Okay, so that's the first voicing. What happens after that? Then it goes to this one. So he jumps over the one starting on E and goes to the one starting on F sharp. Right. What am I doing wrong? So, so it's uh. Oh, here it is. I got it. Sixteen, sixteen, thirteen. I don't have sixteen, sixteen. Yeah. I, oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Still. Looks like then he goes back to first, this though. one. Do what? That's really perverted. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I would never remember that, but okay. Yeah. Then it goes to this one. Then to this one. He plays a little melody. He goes to that one. Uh, and then that. This one. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's the whole That's thing. It? Easy. All right. Ah. I'm going to send you this anyway, so I've got a whole sheet that everybody will be able to download and all that. So Yeah, yeah. 
I'll Contact send it to you. All the supplementary material will be linked below. Yeah. On Brad's side, you can purchase them for. Uh, yeah, so all these are on there that we're going over. Uh, yeah. And I'll probably throw like a. I'll find one of my Cord A2s or something and throw it in there. Man. Um, Sometimes I'm very glad I have my. Uh, these Jew claws. They're, like I see people struggle with the, with the short fingers. Yeah. So, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a, a lot, I have yeah. students that are like, you know, like, how do I like do this stuff with your fingers? Like you fucking don't, man. Yeah, you like, don't. Something else. <laughs> consider. Yeah. Uh, play some play like Danny Gatton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, do they have like, um, do they have like, you know, like real like midgets be like, how do I dunk? Yeah, it's like too short. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, yeah. So there's this one. This is like minor. He uses this for, uh, like, uh, he uses this in Tokyo Dream. So this is a G minor? No. Yes. No. Aeolian? Yeah, well, it can either be uh, C minor 11 if you put the C in the bass. Or like a G minor seven flat six. Yeah, yeah like a G A O N. Yeah. yeah, but like, if you're doing this, like in Tokyo Dream, how's what's in the bass? Actually, you know what? It's uh, let me think. I don't know. Wait, the Tokyo Dream is the major version of it. It's that one. And it's C, so it's the major seven sharp so you eleven. Just drop the upper structure a half. Yeah. This I can use. Yeah. That's sick. That's great. So, but so it changes from a G major to like a G Aeolian. Uh. Right? Wait. So this is. Oh no, that's a C. Yeah, C major okay. seven sharp eleven. Yeah. This is the minor version. So he uses the minor version in uh, low levels. Oh, I can even throw that bass note in there. That's uh, too much. Sick. Okay. Nick, new way of playing after you've gone. <laughs> after you've gone, I left me crying. Yeah, man, you gotta send me all those videos that you play in those tunes with these voicings. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, and then let's see, what's the? I even remember this one? What the hell is that? Oh, funnels thing. Okay, well, <clears throat> all right, this one's uh, interesting. So you know this. Uh, major seven sharp 11 thing, right? Yep. And so we're gonna take this part of it, we're gonna move it up an octave, right? We're gonna add F, and we're gonna add the root note. Okay. Yep. Seriously, you gotta, fuck that. You gotta <laughs> nerd out. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Cool. That hurts. Like this thing clashes. <laughs> yeah. And then there's like, so that if you take, he also does, uh, he'll use just this part of it. That's That makes more sense to me. Cause so he goes, he does that up here. So it's like he goes, oh wait. Ah, there it is. Oh. No, wait a second, what am I doing? Wow. Yeah, that's it. That, that I can do. Yeah. So there's people posting that one, like pictures of themselves or videos of them playing that one all over the internet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's not that bad. No, it's manageable. 
Uh, I mean, you got to hold your guitar up to your freaking ear, but like, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, yeah. this is, this really does feel like the, like the, the world's like cringiest flex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yep. Look how it's like, yeah, because it's just it's like you eliminate time and speed and like all the things that make lines dramatic. It's just yeah. like holding a chord. <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. the world's tallest midget competition. Okay. All right. So then there's this one. I think this is the one I sent you at uh, a video of. Yeah, what is that? So that's uh, 12, 12. I'm sorry, 12, 14, 12, 16, 20. Okay, so that's like an E minor major seven with uh, flat thirteen. Yeah, you got like a minor and a major triad in there. But that's all in E harmonic minor. Yeah, harmonic minor. Uh, you can also use it like in mode three. Mode three thing or like. Uh, G flat half hole diminished. I think it's in there. That's sick. E harmonic minor. So that's like. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can totally see how that resolves there. Or even to something more smooth, right? Cool. Yeah, so that's a cool one. Uh, that one was actually in Zone. He was doing like uh, a chord intro to the tune Zone. He was using like his uh, swell sound and shit. Yeah. I saw him play that, and I was like, oh, I got to figure that one out. <laughs> so, <laughs> It's on a live video somewhere. It might be REH video. Can't remember. Totally cool. But um, yeah, this next one, man, is interesting too because. So what was this one in? This was I can't remember. I can't remember if this was like in home or. Um, but this is a common way that he plays. This kind of thing. Um. A G sus flat nine, but the bass player plays A flat, so it actually ends up giving you a, like an A flat major seven sharp eleven if you'd play it that way. So that's the sound, but he's basically creating like it's to knock him down. It's kind of like making that. Yeah, and it's interesting because they're. Their uh, their bass notes are literally a half step apart, you know. Oh, so he's playing that A flat. Yeah. Up. Do what? Well, but it's like, is it a major seventh apart or a half step apart? Like, it's, uh, it's a half step apart because Alan's playing. Well, you know, I mean, the bass player is an octave lower. An octave lower, so it's like it's right. It's like yeah, the yeah, way yeah. you play like a drop, a drop three voice. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. An octave up, it probably clash. Yeah. 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 But it creates a lot of dissonance. Yeah, it's like playing a power chord on the bass. It's like just, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, let's see. This one is, I don't remember. These are some random voicings I just grabbed from shit I had laying around. But sure. this one is like, uh, man, Alan plays it like this. I can't really play it like that because I have to bar. Is going on so yeah so it's c f sharp d then e on the ninth fret g string and then g on the yeah I, I got this yeah alan plays it like that like i can't play it like that 
Yeah, that's. I think my pinky does a similar thing to where it's like. Yeah. Is that how you play it or how he plays? That's it? how Alan plays it. Okay. Yeah. I see. How do you play it? I have to bar like. Uh, like that. I see. For whatever reason, like I can do pretty big stretches, but for whatever reason, man, this one fucks me up. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to butcher yeah. a bunch of shit, but like, too late. Um, uh, let's see. So there's that one, that one. Oh yeah, Thanks so like. making me feel pretty omnipotent at the moment. Yeah, this is another, uh... Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's sort of similar to the other one. A little bit. But it's like, uh, you know, it's just a B add nine. You can think of it as B add nine over E flat or like E flat minor seven, flat six. No, no, I don't have it. What's the beginning? So it's, so it's like E flat, so 11, 14, and then 11, 11, then 16, 19. Okay, so this, so the bottom of it is yeah, pretty normal, but then you have yeah. this, yeah. which is just like the flat at seven. Uh. No, the six on top for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so where does that come from? 19. Are you on 19 or 20 on top? Should 20. be 19 on top. Oh, 19? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's more that's it. Yeah. That's just enough. So yeah, the root is on top. If you think of it as like B add nine. So that's kind of like a, or like an e, e flat major seven, e flat my, like minor seven sharp five. Yeah, you could think of it uh, that way too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. That's yeah. Awesome. I mean, uh, so you would think about it as some kind of B. And that's on uh, the tune Material Real. So yeah, it's like uh, yeah, this is from Material Real too, and it's uh, yeah. So it's based, you know, you're in a bunch of fifths. Fifth, fifth, fifth. But then he goes. Uh, but then he moves this finger. Ah. Uh, yeah. That? He plays that. Yeah. Sharp on that? Yeah. Uh, I can't get it. Yeah, I can get it sometimes, but sometimes. Ah, uh, there it is. I got it. <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> you gotta hold your guitar like a certain way yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm yeah yeah anyway man i think that's like most that's all the I shit mean, I, i've been stretched out i don't, I don't know like, <laughs> you, jesus christ uh, wow yeah that last one that certainly is uh 
that getting that F sharp is no joke. Yeah. All right. Jeez. Yeah, man. These are fucking cool. I think yeah. people are losing their minds at home right now, uh, thinking like just giving up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not for the small handed, that's for sure. They aren't the only ones wanting to give up. So. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, a lot of people really should, you know. It's <laughs> um, um, a moment of encouragement, cool. Yeah. So, you sent uh, you sent me some lead sheets too. I, I'm going to this week make some backing tracks, uh, for some like Allen type chord progressions. Yeah. And then we're going to try to apply some concepts to them in a yeah. improvised kind of way and see how quickly we fall on our faces. And, uh, yeah, so actually, let me resend you those because I realized um, uh, the Tokyo Dream one I think I sent you, I had rearranged the voicings so that Thomas and I could play it. Oh, okay. So it's not like a, uh, it's not the right voice it's not the exact voicings he's playing so oh, okay. yeah. i'll send you this one that i have up right here and that one has like the actual voicings he played and everything so. this is so sick this has been a great one um so. yeah i think i think this is enough material to keep everybody busy for a few years um and uh that's that's awesome so like i said before all the supplementary material linked below also linked below is brett's book that is now mm -hmm finished back on him back on amazon back on amazon so, for yeah. sale um and uh staying up there it's not yeah. going anywhere how's so, the editing was good yeah it's good yeah awesome we got it man it was like six weeks of uh overhaul but you know sick awesome. luke's the beast man luke doyle if anybody needs an editor <laughs> right. give him another shout out to mr luke so uh, yeah Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this, like always. And uh, yeah, next time we'll talk about some jamming over the chord progression. All right, man. Sounds good. Thank you so much, man. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy.